Welcome back MLP fans to another live reaction with Hungry Harmony and this is Dancing with the Shadows episode 4 called A Sparkle of Emotions and well last episode was quite a shock and let's see where this leads to because I'm guessing she'll have to tell her friends so this should be interesting so I don't really want to keep you guys waiting let's get started Woo! Previously on Dancing with the Shadows I love you I love you too. It's so weird! And why? It's still hard for me to accept these two. I mean, yeah, what? I feel that. Maybe it's because I haven't eaten anything yet. Uh huh. <sighs> Darling, can you please tell the things that all classes are canceled for today? <laughs> Class, this the students are like, woo! You scored? Go home, have a day off. Maybe you came down with the flu. You know, it's gotten really bad this year. I do have the flu, though. These are some very odd flu symptoms. Mm. Maybe they'll be the first one to say congratulations. Congratulations! Congratulations! Yeah, you're having a baby. Ah! You're actually having a baby? Ah! There's so much going on right now. Just because I haven't even been together that long. And I wanted to wait at least till marriage for this type of thing. More importantly, this course is your car clip. And I'm an alicorn. What will it look like? Like, are you a survivor? Do you find it weird? That is sad, but biologically speaking, not biologically speaking, but, biologically speaking. Well, but reason-wise, like what other shows have done or other backstories have done, it's either going to be a Dracronicus or a pony. Just two options, or Alicorn or something like that. No. <laughs> no. No. I'm just saying, I feel like we should be married by the time we get here. If that's what you want. And that's what we'll do. And I can't wait for that day to come. Hmm. Yeah, vocal sweets, let's go! Uh, da -da 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 Why isn't this not working? There we go. Sorry, I was just putting down the volume. Um, <laughs> that's beautiful art style. Um, yeah, I don't ship it, but I'll watch it because a friend wants me to watch it and I do want to know where the story leads, but I do have, like, I do disagree with a lot of things, but they did point out a couple of things which I was like, okay, cool, yeah, at least they know what's morally right and what's morally wrong and stuff like this. Seven months later, what the, hey, we're skipping <laughs> Yeah, seven, wow. I mean, seven months is a long time. Why are you all dressed up? Are you Flurry? Oh, so cute. Flurry, so cute. Except if I'm pregnant, I'm sorry. Don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. What are you doing over here instead of enjoying the rest of your party? Mm, besides coming to check on you, I was meaning to ask you a cutie mark question. Oh. Ooh! Will I ever get my cutie mark? I mean, I know Mom said I was the first one alicorn, but I have been waiting for what feels like forever to get my cutie mark. And you insist on for the luckiest thing, and look how he's made. Talk to Apple Boom, Sweetie, Bell, and Scootaloo. They would probably help better. Exactly. You're gonna be a late bloomer. You and me were actually in the same boat as you, Flurry, at your age, which isn't exactly a bad thing. It just gives you more time to discover who you are and what potential you have. Who am I? Tell me. Where do I go from here? They tried everything. Yeah, they did. But to get their cutie mark. Until they found their special talent. Which was five years, I might add. Five years? I can't wait five years of being an alicorn blink blank. What if I never find out what my life purpose is? Oh, honey, you got time. You got time. I was 
just giving you a slight example. Besides, when it happens, it happens. Oh, I hope I don't have to wait that long. Anyway, just try new things. Just try new things. You're welcome, sweetie. Aww. Anytime. That's sweet. I'm so glad you could make it, Twilight. Flurry is really happy you came, Twilight. Yes, that little Flurry has been grinning from ear to ear since you came. Well, I'm glad I can make your special day. Yeah. Even <laughs> Sister, remember when we were fillies? You no. You know, the guy was rambunctious as with a flurry heart here. I remember for Sophia's seventh birthday. She got into the cake before our parents had the chance to sing happy birthday. And if I remember correctly, I smashed cake into your face, which got you all filthy. <laughs> I think you had an important royal event to go to as well. <laughs> Aww. Well, I believe there is an ancient spell that can turn alcorns like us into fillies, but only for a certain amount of time. You Ooh. all wouldn't want to get in on the fun, would you? I would love that. It would be fun to be a filly, just for a day. That would be Did five again. Twilight, do you think you could... Or maybe twelve again. I would be twelve, 12 again. again. What's wrong? I'm fine. You girls... Oh. I'll be fine. Yes. I don't want to impose on it, you girls having a great time. It comes with but that, yeah. Changes? Twilight Sparkle, nobody speaks to my sister like that. What has got it into you? No, Luna. It's okay. It was the same as everything with... Uh... Twilight. That's a cool looking uh, shining armor. Please continue to enjoy this wonderful party. I just have to go to the little Philly's room. Cadence knows! Cadence knows! Maybe we can keep the ponies here entertained until we get back? Sure. Wait, when do we become party entertainers? When do we? I never signed up for this, and she's gone. And she's yeah. gone. Just tell us a joke. This isn't the twilight that I know and love. Something is definitely wrong here. Kate, it's you probably know because you were an alicorn when you were pregnant. You probably know the mood swings. Twilight, are you okay? Why does every pony keep asking me that? Well, it's because you aren't. Twilight, I know this isn't you. It's because I'm not. I'm your sister-in-law. You can tell me anything, Twilight. Okay. But you have to promise me you won't tell Shining. Cross my heart. Hope, hope to fly. fly stick a cupcake in, in my eye. Though I'd rather stick it in my mouth because it's more delicious. Can you while you're acting like this? Kitten snows. Kitten snows. Pregnant. I knew it. Call it! <laughs> yes! Well, I was in the same boat as you. Exactly! Were. Before I had Flurry, I was moody 24 7. Yes! I took out my hormones on practically every time. Pregnancy hormones are out. Whack. whack. Sweet Celestia, did I put him through the ringer? <laughs> yeah. I just took <laughs> mine out on Princess Celestia. Yeah. Six-year-old. How come you're not out there helping win over the party? Well, everybody went home. However, Luna left hours ago. Something about her saying that she was not getting paid enough for this. 
<laughs> She's not getting paid enough. Wow. Your magic lessons are done with tomorrow. Do I have to? Come on. Tell Twilight goodnight. I'll talk to you in tonight. Yes, Twilight. Goodbye. I'm pretty sure Twilight has a lot to do. I'll talk to you in goodnight. I'll kiss you cheek so you will sleep. Now close your eyes, good night. Please comment down below if you know where that song comes from. I'll give you a like and a heart if you know where it comes from. It was your hormones that were making you act like that. I didn't know that I'm pregnant though. Da da da! Explain to her what's going on. I'm sure she will understand. Oh yeah! She's an understanding mare after all. You know that. I guess she's right. But it's late. I'm just thinking, what if Celestia was pregnant too? I'm just kidding. But that'd be an interesting, you know, plot twist. Her story. Oh, so beautiful. She's an understanding mare after all. You know that. <sighs> I mean, lesson zero. She was cool. What brings you here in the late hours of the night? <laughs> I need to talk to you. Is this a public matter or a private matter? Private! private. Would you like some tea? That's actually Jasmine. Good question. Like, is it private or public? Is everything okay, Twilight? I I want to apologize for my actions. For how I lashed out at you at Flory's party. It was unsensitive like of me. To react that way, and, and I know that you didn't deserve my outburst. Twilight, I forgive you. But where are you going with this? Just for now, I said it. This was remember I told you the room way darker. I'm pregnant. Forgive me for sounding blunt, Twilight, but after I witnessed your sudden outburst and snappy attitude, it became quite obvious. Also, who wears a fancy gown to a simple Philly's birthday party anyway? Not obvious, huh? You <laughs> just carried quite a show. It was unprincessed. Emotions that face of Celestia just like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a sorry. Perfect look. You should never apologize for how you feel. I take it that this wasn't an I agree. plan. Not exactly. I was at least waiting till marriage, but seems like they had other plans. How long have you known? Um seven months and a half months now. Does the father know about this? Yes. In fact, he's completely okay with this. Sorry from the fact where he freaked out twice. So let's see, are you looking to the camera? That's kind of funny. Ask who the father is? Oh! Uh -huh. Twilight, you should know by now, in the many years that you have come to know me, as once upon a time your teacher, and you as my student, and now both equals, that you can Why do I get the feeling she's going to freak out? It is all right. Perhaps someday, when you're ready to tell me, I'll be here. Besides, whoever the lucky pony is, is very lucky to- That's just it. He isn't a pony. Oh? <laughs> if I tell you, promise me you won't judge me for who I'm about to say I'm pregnant by. I like whoever the father is. It's gonna drop it. It's gonna drop it. She's gonna drop it and it's gonna break. No? Never mind. reaction I was I'm expecting. I'm fine. <clears throat> yeah, I shouldn't have said. No, I'm glad you told me who the father is, Twilight. I'm just surprised. Right? I've just never considered Discord to be the one to settle down or start a family, for that matter. Bless you, Art. Princess, the back guards are in need of your assistance with your sister. The is she okay? Back uh, guards? She seems to have gotten into the wine cellar again. Yeah, let them know I'll be on my way. Oh dear. I didn't know Luna was a lover of wine. Sometimes too much. <laughs> I better go deal with my sister before she gives drunken commands to her night guards. Oh dear. Thank you for letting me know. I guess I'll let you handle Luna in her wine drunk state. Good night, Celestia. Good night, Twilight. Some 
something's up with you. Something's up with you, Celestia. I want to know what it is. Is it over? Oh, good. It's not. I know you were listening on that Twilight and Mommy conversation. So can you tell Daddy what was being said? Why can't you blame your own daughter? Sadness. <gasps> yes. So Daddy, I'll buy you that fake stuff in when we bought it at the toy store last month. Thanks a lot, Tommy. I'll let you eat dinner for dessert and you won't even have to tell Mom. <laughs> nope. Besides, they already do that anyway. <laughs> well, I thought you were Daddy's little girl. I still am, but I can't just say Mommy and I try to trust Daddy. You both taught me that. Shoot, you did. Like, nice try, but... Flurry, you best. You strong young filly. I love you for that. That's amazing. What? My own daughter won't tell me. I'll just get my information some other way. Why can't you accept the anniversary thing? I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, are you getting from Shining? Early in the morning? Okay. What kind of girls week were they having exactly? Uh, you know, going to the spa, a bunch of girly stuff. Alright then. Well, here's your room. It already has everything you need. Oh, sis, you know your BBBFF so well. <laughs> That's a really cool discord. I really like it. The style. I also have an unwanted visitor. Who's the unwanted visitor? Unwanted is your brother! Send him to another dimension. How does Pony Aris Grant sound? Oh, or maybe Philadelphia. What? No! It's my brother. And he cannot see you. Think you could disguise yourself? And why would I need to do that exactly? Do you wish to be six feet underground? Twilight, my dear, I am immortal. But why do I sense that your brother is not a fan of me? Oh, that's what it uh, represents? Six feet underground being in the grave? Even though it was oh. six years ago, he still hasn't forgiven you. Wow. I thought it your meant been pummeled so hard that but you were like six feet deep because it was with? such a big pummeling, you know. <laughs> That's what I thought. Not grave. Okay. Oh, How long is he saying? <laughs> Go have some tea time with Fluttershy. Oh, hello. Owlicious. Hey, Violet, are you okay? You were in here for a while. Aww. I thought I'd come check on you. Yeah, I, I thought That's I cute. Would... Just had to come check on our wishes. Ooh, ooh, Isn't that ooh, our wishes ooh. right there? No. <laughs> That's just a random owl from the Everfree Forest. Wow. All owls look alike, you know. Just let me put our wishes down on this perch, and I'll be right with you. <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? You look a little pale. <laughs> I'm fine. Really. Because unwanted visitors. <laughs> How about this? I'll fix your breakfast for you, and you can go read one of your favorite books. Deal. Deal. Can you make some 
want those cinnamon cilantro cupcakes? Why would I? Why would you want those? Oh, you know what? Scratch that. Sweets in the morning. Cupcakes are just fine. <laughs> uh, Twilight, it's okay. I was just teasing. Well, if you need me, I'll be in the kitchen. Now go rest. Squirt, please promise me that you will stay here in the shiner. You have my word, princess. Really? That is disgusting. Oh my gosh. This is a really interesting section. <laughs> I did not see that coming. <laughs> that was good. That was a good one. That was a good one. You got me. No problem, but are you sure you're going to be okay? Where did that come from? It's one of the many side effects of having a spring allergy in my horn. And if I were you, I would leave this room while I still have the chance. Weird. I've never had a horn allergy. Must be an alicorn thing. Have you yes. Ever seen the shining my cap. And the doctor said that it was clearly one of the side effects when sick. From being an alicorn called uh, Alicornia. It's something that all princesses get when they get Alicornia? That sounds like a place. Welcome to Alicornia. Two weeks. But I have medicine for it. So hopefully by tomorrow I will feel at least a little bit better. This is why your BBBFF is here for you, Twilight. If you need me, just holler. Or in your case, your Doro cancer lot for you. You yes. know, just rest. But what about... Whatever needs to be taken care of, I'll handle it for you. I just don't want you to push yourself more than you already have. You can just call me Princess Shiny Armor for the day. Of course, bring that back. Besides, you look like you could use the rest. Promise me you'll rest for the day? Princess Spike for the day. You need me, you know where I'll be. Hmm. That is beautiful. I wish I could draw. Maybe Shining is right. I could rest. I'm just gonna take a quick nap. <laughs> she sleeps for a month. I'm just kidding. Well, I haven't been back to check on me in a few hours. I hope she is okay. My light? <laughs> oh, it's you. Oh, it's you. Lucky you. You want? This is a battle you shall have! Oh no. I was just flying away! Oh dear. Hey Twilight, I found some owl feathers outside. I thought it would make a nice feather pillow for you. That's very sweet of you. Oh my goodness. If you'll excuse me, I'll be right back. If you wanted to. Oh shit. What do you think you're doing? Wow, okay, wow. Why are you even in my baby sister's castle? If you must know, Twilight asked me to stay here. And why would she? She despises you. <laughs> so this is where you are wrong. Now what's that supposed to mean? And fight! Let's go. Play. <laughs> what is going on? Twilight, what are you doing out 
regret. My question for you two is, why are you fighting at 4.16 in the morning? 4.16, I like the preciseness. Can you put you under a spell? What? No! Now answer my question! How could you fall in love with some holy like him? Do you have any idea what he's done to you and your friends? What he's done to Equestria in the past? I do know, and unlike you, I can look past the pony who's done me wrong. Besides, you can't make the choice or get to decide who I fall in love with. Mm. I mean, let it be known, you can't control my love life. You are not Satan! Wait, are you... when I find out who... Oh, well I didn't tell you? Discord, can it? That's why you've been acting strange here lately. And you're the father? Oh, look, you are the only one who's a smart bean sparkles. <laughs> However, you wow. are correct. Oh, you are deadly funny. Stop! I can't believe you two are acting like this. Shocking armor, you are my brother. You couldn't have at least been a little bit excited for me? No. That is, go on your high horse. If you never did anything wrong. I would never disown Flurry Heart. Yet, here you are, to have the audacity to put me down for my wrongdoing? Clearly counting this being one of them. You could have told me twice. No, I couldn't have, because I knew you would act like this. I get a point out. Toy does make a point. Yeah, someone made a mistake, and what you should do is comfort them and say that, okay, confront them. Yes, you made a mistake, but let's see how I can make you feel better, even though if they say what they did was wrong, like they admit it themselves, what they did was wrong, then that, that, that's enough. Like that's, that's owning to your mistakes. Some people don't own to their mistakes, which I mean, a lot of people do that. And then they're just ignorant. They just, they just like, they'll just keep on like, it's not my fault, not my fault or this and that. Like those people you're like, you, you can't argue with them because they're just going to be like kids. Like, oh, it wasn't my fault. But with this, like, Twilight admitted she made a mistake, and what Shining is, what she, he's supposed to do, what a good friend or at least a sibling, brother, or family should do, is assess that, okay, yeah, you made a mistake. Um, I can see that you, under, you know, owned up to it, you, you admitted it. Okay, what are we gonna do now? Like, you know, like, Let's continue with life, not yell at the person who's being right now victimized or who's, who's, who's in, <sighs> sorry, this happened to one of my friends online. She was bullied for something. She made a mistake. She made a really big mistake to the point that I confronted her about it calmly. I said, that was wrong. You should not have done that. You learned from this. And she also, she herself said she confessed what she did was wrong. And and I, for, I forgave her. She did, did nothing wrong to me. She did something wrong to someone else. But I still forgave her and she, she was crying. She was so upset of what she's done. I accept it. But there are people out there who kept bullying her, hating her to the point that she almost... That almost killed me inside. That there's people out there who still attacked a person for doing something wrong and wouldn't let it go. They kept yelling at her and saying like, oh my goodness, you should have known better. You should have never have done this. You're a terrible person. You're a terrible person. And the thing is, the things that she did is nothing compared to the terrible things that happen in the world. It's actually nothing. It is bad. She admitted, admit it. but sorry, I had, to, I had to point this out like, cause people don't understand so what's it like to be on the other side? Yeah, it's easy to tell them they're they're wrong. It's easy to tell that to anybody. It's easy to tell that kid. You must repent for your actions. Any kind of action or any kind of thing you do has consequences, either good or bad. And people don't realize that about themselves, and they're just like a complaining coward kid. It just like complains and always playing the victim card because like, oh my goodness, I've been hurt. We should, you know, punish this person who hurt me. I'm like, oh my gosh, you... There was, sorry, there was so much bullying and conflict and I helped my friend actually resolve a bit. And the thing is, she wasn't all in the wrong. She made a mistake, yes, but the other person on the other side made an even bigger mistake. And they said that, well, he is the, vic he, he's the victim, not the... 
the accuser or the 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 sinner. Does that make sense? I'm like, oh my goodness, no, you're not. But yeah, sorry, I I didn't mean to go on off a rant like this. But what Shining Armor is literally doing is attacking her using her big voice. I can understand he's upset, but this is when you kind of do the you know, Brayden's like, breathe in, breathe out, because yelling at them is not gonna fix it. You're gonna yell at them, they're gonna make themselves even feel worse. Really? You wanna make themselves feel worse? Yes, you could be upset about it, I understand. But what you do is breathe in, breathe out, say like, okay, you know this person so well. What you do, calm yourself. You can be mad at someone else. You can let out your anger in a room, in a quiet room. That's totally fine, but not in front of them because they're already hurting inside and you want to make it worse by yelling at them, saying everything they did wrong, which they already know they already did wrong. Seriously, wake up people who do that. Seriously. Sorry, that was just a rant because it, it happened recently and it hurt my soul that my my friend was hurting so bad and, pe and people would not let go of her mistake even though it wasn't such a big deal. It's almost like she stole a piece of the cake and the whole, like, whole group of friends were so mad at her for stealing the cake. It was wrong. It wasn't hers. It wasn't her right. And they're, and she's sorry, but they don't care. They just want to put her down and make her feel terrible to make themselves feel better and higher so they can step on her. That's what they were doing. And it sickens my heart for people who do that. It sickens my heart. I don't know how, why, why people do that, but it's a simple world out there. So I, I understand that that there's that darkness in the world. And I just wish people would realize and wake up just for once. But yeah, sorry, again, I'll continue. Sorry. But I'm only trying to protect you. Look at me, you're more judging me than protecting me. Newsflash, I'm not a little silly anymore. I can take care of myself. Were you really here for a visit to see me? Or was it something entirely different? And don't you dare cry lie. Well, since the room is still full of tension, might as well tell you the truth. Whoa, it's a creepy face. I see why you were acting so funny here recently, but now I see the answer is very crystal clear. So, you lied to me? Well, first off, my sweet little sister, you lied to me first. Because I knew you would act like this. I know for a fact that you still hold a grudge against Discord for his past mistakes. But the past is in the past for a reason. I kind of agree with Twilight. If you know the person, how they're going to react, that's going to happen. I was like that with my parents. I know exactly how they reacted if I told them something that I knew they weren't going to like. Then why even say it? But I thought like, I even said like, no, what? No, the truth will set you free. The truth will be good. Especially like with, it's your own parents. Makes sense. So I told them something that I... I was struggling with and this and that and I just really wanted them to help but instead they just I knew how they would react and it didn't help me and it make me feel worse which I learned my lesson at least three to five times to not say things that I know will upset them it's already like a conscious thing I'm not saying like I'm keeping like a deep dark secret no 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 it's just I know how they will react so I rather avoid that if that makes any sense I'll tell my sister or you know like siblings or or friends about it but if I know my parents I know how they were yeah but it's not like a big news like this of course this is like completely different but yeah I understand where Twilight's coming from I get that so so you, with this kind of secret you'll have to come out anyway sooner or later oh shadow I'm sorry, Twilight. Oh, come on, we're <laughs> Sorry, I talked for so long about that one thing, but I can't, now I, 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 it was really relatable. This was very relatable. And Shining, arm between Shining and, um, Armor and Twilight, like, yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> that was very relatable. Like, just how, what you should do is be calm about it, but like, yeah, if you're upset, yeah, but if it's gonna hurt the other person, don't. What gets my blood boil is when people purposely hurt others just to put them down and so that they can lift themselves up like they own them. It's beautiful artworks. Beautiful artworks. Yeah. And again, with that cyberbullying, it's dangerous. 
And the thing is, <laughs> it's like when two dogs bark at each other behind the cage. They're like, oh, I'm so strong, isn't that? But when the gate is opened and the two dogs are confronted with each other, they just ignore. They're like, it's exactly like that. Cyber boys, they think they're so cool, they're so great, but they are behind the computer. They're not confronting the person. If they confront the person, they are cowards. I'm not saying everyone is when they're that, but most of them, like, oh, I'm so powerful behind the keyboard. Wow. Like, well, let's see if you put up in the wild. <laughs> like, go outside, talk to the person, say the same thing to their face. Can you do it? Likely not. <laughs> but yeah, thank you. Thank you, Vocal Sweets, for this. Because even though I don't ship it, but you've put some things in that literally relate to real life events kind of thing. So it kind of is, um, you know, it's a good thing to point out and show it. And yeah, this part I kind of just ranted off. I'm sorry, but it, it was something that needed to be. I feel like need to be said and people don't realize. And there's some people who do it accidentally. Like I know like they they say things that they think is they say it's like, oh this is their normal voice, but for some reason it could sound like they're yelling at them. It's it's kind of a I don't know how to speak. Sucks. Okay, I just really lost my train of thought, dang it. Uh, hey, when I start editing, then that train of thought comes back, and I'm like, I forgot about it. So, hey, sorry, hungry, can't think of it right now, but you probably thought of it when editing. <laughs> I'm talking to myself. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching, and thank you, Vocal Sweets, for this episode. I can't wait to see episode five, so let me know when you am um, going to have episode five come out soon. So, yeah, because I can't wait. And I have been talking to Vocal Sweets about stuff. I don't know, the, I don't know the, what's the full story, but I kind of got a maybe hint that like, well, even in the story, like, yeah, like Discord can't wait for the wedding. And I'm just wondering like, oh dear, the wedding. So smoke all sweets, if the wedding's happening, you know me, I can't wait for that wedding. <laughs> if that happens, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, so I can't wait. So thank you guys. And Hungry Hermione is going to be out. And I'll see you next time on Dancing with the Shadows. But remember, friendship is forever. <laughs>